Hello, my name is Esther Park and in this video I want to share two of my favorite Google Meet extensions and two little tips and tricks to make your Google Meet better. One of the greatest benefits of using Google Meet as your video conferencing tool is that, first of all, it is part of the Google Suite family and it integrates all other Google products seamlessly. And secondly, Google Meet gives you um, access to these extra features that were created by the third party developers within Google Chrome. So basically you can pick and choose these extra features that you like and integrate and add it on to Google Meet. So the first Chrome extension that I suggest and recommend is called Nod. This is an excellent add-on feature that allows students to raise their hands and use these emoji responses for some quick formative assessments. Now, since this feature um, has to be used by all participants, all of your students will need to download this extension and add it to their Chrome browsers in order to use them. First, you will visit the Chrome store and download this extension. So click Add to Chrome, click Add Extension. Once you are in your Google Meet, this extension will automatically populate a new tab on the top left hand corner. And this will allow students to send real time reactions to teachers, such as the thumbs up, thumbs down, clap, wave, celebrate, and laughter emojis and etc. Also, they have a raise a hand feature so that students can use it for a chance to ask a question or add to the class. If you click on the settings icon, there's an option to change the skin tone as well. Next one is another Chrome extension called Google Meet Attendance. This is a time saver tip for teachers looking for a solution to keep track of who is present and who's not in your sessions. So basically what it does is that it captures the names of students who logged into your Google Meet session and gives each student a timestamp. For this feature, only the teacher will need to download this extension since you're gonna be the only one using this function. Once you download the Google Meet attendance add-on, you will see a little check mark that appear next to your camera icon. So simply click on the icon to see the list of students who logged into your session. Now at the end of your session, you're going to click the save icon and it will give you an Excel file of students' names and the arrival time. Next little trick is using Snap Camera. Unlike Zoom, Google Meet doesn't offer an option to give um, virtual backgrounds during the meetings. Now, Snap Camera is not a Chrome extension, but a free desktop application software that brings these fun lenses and backdrops to your computer and to your camera. So you will need to first download the software to your laptop or your computer, and you will choose your favorite virtual background or these lens filters. And then you will need to adjust the video settings in Google Meet so that these add-ons show in your Meet sessions. If you would like to change the virtual background of your Google Meet, you would have to first download the Snap Camera, um, and then from there, you have to change and choose your favorite background. And once you are in Google Meet, you're going to click the three dots, go to settings, video, and change the camera option to snap camera. 
So in the Snap Camera application, there are tons and tons of different virtual backgrounds that you can choose from. Also some filters that you can use and you just need to enable Snap Camera software within Google Meet. Last but not least is my absolute, absolute favorite translated live captions. This will be a definite must have for language teachers like myself who will be teaching online. Um, and the best part about this trick is that you don't need to download anything. If you're using Google Chrome, you can add this function simply by making a couple of clicks. Once you're in Google Meet, go to the bottom and click turn on captions. Once the captions are turned on, it will automatically transcribe what you say real time in English. Now the game changer is simply to right click anywhere on the screen, translate to English, and it will populate a Google tab. Click the three dots, choose another language, and choose your target language. I'm going to click Korean and click translate. Voila! Now on my Google Meet screen, whatever I say in English is translated into my target language in real time. Notice if I change the language and translate the whole page. That's what I just did. Everything that appears on this screen is written in your target language. In my case, it's Korean. If you want the screen back to English, if you want it back, let's say when your class session is finished, you will go through the same process. Just go to the little Google Translate icon next to the URL bar. So click that. Click the three little dots. Click Choose Another Language. And put it back to English. Translate. Now the whole Google Chrome browser is back to English. If you want to turn off the captions, you can click Turn Off Captions. Forgot to mention in order for them to see the captions, they'll have to individually turn it on for their device. That's it. These were my top four tips and tricks to enhance your Google Meet experience. You can find the links to what I shared in the description below, as well as the link to my Google Slides presentation deck. And I hope you found these tips and tools useful and will hopefully help you make your Google Meet experience better. If you have any questions for me or if you have any other suggestions or any topics that you would like me to explore, please leave me a message on Twitter or down below in the comments box. Thanks for watching.